Motherfuckers always asking me, hood, you a big boy, where you get your confidence from? I be like, I caught it on set at the 99 cent store, motherfucker. Y'all ready to slide into some of these hood facts? Hey, what's up, hood folks? How y'all doing? It's Friday, and I'm gonna get my groove on. <laughs> How y'all doing this morning? Actually, when I'm recording this video, it is this morning, like... 10 o'clock. Anyway, I'm just coming in with another quick hood facts. I wouldn't plan on, I, 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 sometimes I plan out my videos, what I want to say. You know, like, like the top five I did yesterday. If you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it. Top five foods I don't eat that I put up yesterday. But when I do those videos, I, you know, I write my little notes down what I want to do. But sometimes I get ideas for videos like right now. And I don't plan on making these type of videos. Like I told y'all, I don't want to make hood facts that much. I want to just make funny videos. But it seems like the more videos I want to make funny, most serious stuff keep coming up, ideas coming up. Anyway, just a little while ago, I was in this local grocery store. I'm not calling no names because I don't want to be in no shit. <laughs> Actually, I might not need to tell y'all this video. I might not need to do this video all together. But I'll tell y'all anyway. <laughs> Anyway, the title of this video is Pay Attention to Your Motherfucking Surroundings. And people do not pay attention to their surroundings. So a little while ago, I was in there. I'm going to make some, for dinner today, I wanted some, you know, the dinner this evening, I wanted some chili dogs and some green bean fries. I'm, I, got, I got the little thing offline. I'm going to make them like that. I ain't doing no video for it. I'm just telling y'all. So I was in the aisle looking at some uh, horse really sauce, horse relish sauce and ranch dressing and when i walked through the aisle this lady she so busy couponing so busy shopping she had a bug in the middle of the flow and when i say excuse me she didn't pay me no attention she was just rude as fuck you know so i was looking at the horse relish sauce and i saw these two guys walk by her buggy now in her buggy she had her pocketbook wide open you can see the coupons she had and you can see her cash right there and her credit cards and everything because she had a wide open not paying attention so i'm this me looking at the dresser and but the corner of my eye i'm like this now here still like this looking at the rent dresser but i'm like this so they walked by her and she was too busy looking at spaghetti sauce, reading the ingredients. I guess she wanted to get her, see what she's putting inside of her body. So she's so busy reading the ingredients, not paying no attention to her surroundings. So the guys walked by and then they walked by, they picked up some of her wallet. Guess what Jeremy was doing? Acting like he was still looking at his rent dress and minding his business. My motto in life, either the Bible said it or I said it. If you want to live long, mind your own. So I was minding my own. So they walked by again, and they got her whole wallet, and they just walked right around the store. Boom. And I was like, God damn, she's not paying attention. They just stole all that shit in her wallet. They just stole all that in her pocketbook, her whole wallet. At first, they got some money, and then they got the whole wallet and just walked right out the store. I didn't say nothing. I said, damn, they're just careless. They're just stupid. Nobody is that focused on nothing that they don't notice they surround us. They're just stupid. So I just went on through the show. I just went on and got the rest of my stuff to make my green bean fries. So when I got ready to check out, I heard the commotion. She was making a scene. My wallet's gone. She was doing all that on can on. I said, mm. That's her being that they're just stupid. People need to pay attention to their surroundings. Real talk. So I was like, mm mm. I might not need to put this video up. I, you know, after y'all watch this video and, and it get my little normal 80 to 100 views, I might take this video down because I don't want to be no witness to the crime. <laughs> That's why I'm not even calling the grocery store name out. And it was not Kroger today. <laughs> anyway, but people don't pay attention to their surroundings. People are so focused on stupid stuff. It's just like people living in an imaginary world. This 2016 even if it was 1996 you still should pay attention to your surroundings now y'all if you follow me on twitter and you know one of my favorite channels to watch is the id channel y'all love the id channel and the id channel teaches you a lot of shit a lot of murders and a lot of people get killed because of their carelessness and not pay att paying attention to their surroundings i remember a time when my friend she told me that it was it was like two in the morning and this guy walking down in the hood on his phone ah, man, yeah just cussing and talking loud and stuff not paying attention to his surroundings some boys jumped out jacked his ass up robbed his ass got him why because he too busy on the phone making up noise 
I don't make up noise. When I get out my, if I get out my car in the middle of the, middle of the night and I'm alone, I just, I close my door and I walk up to my place and when I get close my house though, then I beat the alarm and lock my car. I don't make a whole bunch of noise. I don't pull up in the parking lot with my music playing loud because you never know, a criminal might be off in the bushes hiding and then as soon as you get out the car with the radio all loud bumping and not paying attention, not focused, not paying attention to your surroundings and they come out and jack your ass up good. I got one more for you. In 2006, I got my first apartment in Dallas. And so I had, I, I've been with Sprint for 10 years. I can't believe I ain't switched from Sprint yet. Yeah, Sprint, you still suck. Anyway, so I had my little flip phone. I can't remember what it was in 2006. And my phone, for some reason, my phone would not work in my apartment. So they said that there's something wrong with my antenna. So I had ordered my phone through Amazon. So they had sent me a phone and I had to send the phone back through Amazon. What's Amazon? It was Amazon. Anyway, so I had to send my phone back to Amazon. So at this time, I was working the night, the evening night shift. So I, this night, this particular night, I left work about 8.30, and I was gonna go to this little drop-off. It was like the UPS store, but it was a little uh, shipping place that you go to and drop your packages off, and they'll send it off for you. Or was it the UPS store? Probably was the UPS store. Anyway, so when I pulled up into the parking lot, I just pulled up in there, and I didn't just jump out my car running in the store because they was about to close at 9. It was like 8.45 when I got there. So I pulled up and I cut my car off, and I saw these two Mexican dudes in the, in the store. And the girl, she looked like she was having a hard time with them, but they was one dude was pacing back and forth, and another dude just stood up there, and he they was arguing with each other. And I was just sitting there watching, like, I'm going to wait. I'm not finna just run up in this damn store. I'm not just finna run up in here, so I'm going to wait. So... What the hell? What the hell is? Y'all, a sack full of rubbers. <laughs> a bag full of damn rubbers. <laughs> Y'all, look at all these rubbers. What the hell? Y'all, look at the rubbers. Fuck it. <laughs> look at the rubbers. Lord. Anyway. Y'all, I get off track. I need to focus. I need to focus. Jeremy, you need to focus. Either way, so um, I didn't just get out the car and just run up in the store. So when I, I was just sitting there waiting away, and then a few minutes later, I saw the two balls just buzz out the store. And so the girl was on the phone. She was on the phone. I was like, oh, my God. And when I, now, I now this was dumb of me. I walked in the store after they had bust out, and she said, I just got robbed, and she was calling the police. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm black. And I don't know about this shit. They might come here and think I did it. Mm -mm. So I was like, well, I'll come at tomorrow. She said, well, could you wait till the police come? So I said, I'm going to wait outside of my car. So when I, when I heard the police coming fast, that's when I got, I just crumped my car up and left. Because I didn't want to just, you know, be in the scene. They think I was the one that robbed their ass. But the whole moral of that story is, what if they was going to shoot a kid or uh, cashier in the store? Then I just been careless and not paying attention to my surroundings and just walked up in the UPS store and got my ass shot up too. So many times, a lot of people be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and and that is true. But so many times, people can kind of avoid some things if they was to focus and pay attention and say, you know what, I better look before I go in here. I better look two times before I cross the street. And I'll give you one more, one more, not paying attention to your surroundings. Well, I was driving home Sunday night from the club, and this lady was texting and driving. And well, I tell you to focus, but also pay attention to your surroundings once again. She texting and she driving, and she driving, and I guess she's not paying attention. I was doing 75, but I know she was doing fast with me because she would speed up, and then she will slow down, and she will speed up. and she, So I got over on the lane from her because I said, if she running somebody, I don't need her running into me. So I guess she was too busy texting. She stomped that damn gas and not paying attention to her surroundings. Around her, and that damn police were right there and he got behind her ass and you thought it was Christmas time because that damn them police had them lights lit up on her ass it was two of them like one had stopped her and then that I know I looked in the back it was another police coming behind her ass why she got I don't know that she go to jail I didn't know that she get a ticket but I know the police got her ass because she was not Paying attention to her surroundings. The woman at the grocery store today, too busy focused on some bullshit and not paying attention to her surroundings. Why she just gonna close her pocketbook up and then do what she gotta do or keep her pocketbook on her arm? Some people are so delusional nowadays. And the reason I'm making this video is because 
when I be on social media, people are forever complaining about problems in their life. People forever asking me, Jeremy, you seem like you always happy. You seem like you always in a good mood. I'm not always happy. I'm not always in a good mood. And my life ain't, ain't that good at all. <laughs> I'm thankful for it. But at least I focus and I pay attention to my surroundings and I don't make, cause problems on myself by being careless. That's the whole point of this whole video. I hope you got something out of it. I wasn't planning on making in this video. I just want to give y'all this little message. Pay attention to your motherfucking surroundings. Stop acting like you delusional. This is 2016. It's gonna be 2017. People are fucking people up nowadays. You know what I mean?